My name's Ben Elton. I wrote the book for We Will Rock You, which is the dialogue, of course, the story, and I'm also the director. I think everybody knows Queen now. In fact, you don't even have to be a specific Queen fan to love Queen's music. It's everywhere. You go to a sports stadium, you're going to hear a Queen anthem. And whether you think you like Queen or not, you're going to be punching the air and stamping your feet. They have that unique ability. My name is Jane Rosenthal, and I'm a producer of We Will Rock You, uh, along with Robert De Niro and Tribeca Theatricals. Bob and I started a production company uh, many years ago, almost 25 years ago. And one of the things we wanted to do was a movie about Freddie Mercury. So we had approached Jim Beach about getting the rights to the Freddie story through the course course of things, Ben Elton approached Jim and Tribeca about uh, doing a musical version, um, not of Freddie, but of using all the Queen music. And um, here we are um, 12, 13 years later, uh, finally doing the North American tour. So it was an extraordinary thing to get the opportunity to look at this vast body of work. I mean, it's sort of 40 top five hits, 25 number ones, I mean, it's a vast number. And to start to pick and choose and try and create a narrative, and it was very clear to me from the start that the story couldn't be about Queen. It wouldn't want to be a biography of Freddie or the band. It needed to be about Queen's vibe, which is this kind of colossal rock legend, this massive scale. And so I thought a legend would be a good story. You know, something like King Arthur, the sword in the stone. And immediately I was thinking of a guitar buried in stone in a world where rock and roll is banned and we were off. I think one of the most interesting things about casting We Will Rock You um, was A, it was an exhaustive search. So it wasn't just a question of looking for people here in New York City. We went far and wide, so we went to the West Coast, went to LA, we went down to Florida. We wanted the authentic rock sound. Uh, people that could sing We Are the Champions, but also add on top of that, that could act it, because it is a book musical, there is a story here. So that, I think, was one of the biggest challenges that we had, uh, finding the people that could actually do all of it and have the uh, stamina to do it. And I think we've, we've done well. We're very, very proud of our, our cast, Brian and Ruby and the whole group. My name is Ruby Lewis. I play Scaramouche in the show We Will Rock You. I live in LA and so I flew to New York for the callbacks and now we're rehearsing in New York and I couldn't be more excited. So this will be my first principal role in a national tour so I'm definitely feeling like I gotta turn it out, <laughs> you know. I'm Brian Justin Crum. I play Galileo Figaro. Ruby and I go back years. Um, We've been friends for five years now, so it's felt safe and comfortable and uh, just been a complete joy to get to do this with her. I couldn't imagine doing it with anybody else. I attribute so much to what I do as a singer to Queen because I used to just listen to Queen in my bedroom when I was a kid and just scream and not think about singing properly, but just, just try, to, try to sound like Freddie Mercury. My name is Tracy Fly, and I am the associate director and associate choreographer on the show. In terms of the creation of this choreography, it's all based on Arlene Phillips' original choreography. It was my job to reimagine the choreography for the space that we now have, with the set that we now have, and the number of cast members we now have. So I had to sit down when we began prepping and go through every number re-block it all, reimagine it for the kind of individuals that we have in the show, so that when we were able to come in here, we had a, a pretty solid understanding of how we wanted to start it all, um, and then we're able to uh, grow from there. We will, we will rock it. It's an endless inspiration and this particular company are, are sensationally talented and I, I can say that with confidence because anyone who comes to see it will back me up. We Will Rock You, I've known about it for so long and I've always wanted to be a part of it and so this has really been a dream come true for me. I think it's going to be a really good show. I'm excited. Hey, hey, hey.